Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm going to be testing FIFA 19, the full game, on the G4 CDX 750Di. I'll be doing 1080p, 1440p and 4K. To skip down at those sections of the video, check the timestamps down in the description. So first of all, I'll show you 1080p on ultra settings without MSAA, and it's enough to maintain over 60 frames per second all the time. After that, at 1440p and 4K, I did some overclock to the GTX 750Di. On 1080p, the overclock is disabled. And at 1440p I use high settings, again without MSAA, and that was still enough to maintain 60 frames per second the majority of the time. And finally at 4K, in order to maintain close to 60 frames per second while using the default camera, I lowered the rendering quality to low, and surprisingly the game ran pretty well at 4K. It's surprising because the demo ran significantly worse than this. It was below 30 frames per second for me in that case. So far with the final game compared to the demo, I got surprisingly better performance, so I was using DartX since in this case Tartex 12 was worse, at least in my case, so I recommend you just test it out. Tartex 12 uses more VRAM and I got more stutters for some reason, so I decided to just go for Tartex 11 this time around. But on the demo I did Tartex 12 so that's maybe why I got much better performance this time around. And well, the options menu is just the same as the demo, you just get a launcher at the start and you have the presets, low, medium, high and ultra. You can usually get a massive FPS boost from ultra to high, in most mid-range systems you should be able to do Ultra on 1080p just fine. Even on a GTX 750Di, I was able to do Ultra 1080p and I was over 60 frames per second pretty much all the time. Then we also got the MSAA options, which is the anti-aliasing, and then you also have the no limit FPS option, which is unlock frame rates. Menu cinematics are capped at 30 frames per second, but you can unlock the frame rate on those if you want. By just going into the Nvidia control panel, disable the V-Sync option or put Fast Sync, and the game should have completely uncapped frame rates. But if you're getting limited by the CPU and you're getting stutters, I recommend capping the game at 60 frames per second. And the worst performance I saw so far was to play at nighttime uh, with rain. Unfortunately, the rain is not visible with the default camera setup, so keep that in mind. Usually, when you see the replays, the rain is completely visible, but at this distance, it's really hard to tell if it's raining or not. Then, when there's a replay or you're doing a kick with the goalkeeper in third person, you can usually get a big performance hit. But those are usually the moments where the performance is the worst and you have little control of the game compared to the camera looking from the top. So I'm just targeting 60 frames per second in those cases with the default camera going on. And that was about it. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time. Gone short with the corner. And the ball goes out for a goal kick. This is the kind of uh, pitch but I think attacking players favour Alan, don't they? I think they do, yeah, because uh, it means mistakes from defenders. And uh, you know, a little bit of miscontrol, loss of footing, and uh, you're in. Saw the pass coming and got there first. Leonardo Benucci, Miralem Pjanic, Sami Kadira. And now he's looking for some support. Kulinski. Well, suddenly they could be on the counter attack. Can find some space here on the flanks. Can put them in front here, and he's done just that. Oh, they've laid down the marker with that goal. Really good finish. It was a wonderful watch, that goal. Well, it's come in from a long way out, and from that angle, it's not always easy to finish. Defenders caught out by it in the end. Let's see the replay now. And that has opened the scoring. 1-0 here. Kedira. Chiellini. Here's Cristiano Ronaldo. Miralem Pjanic. Dybala. Dybala. Pjanic. Chance for the cross. Kadira. He's 
got it away, and that's what you have to do. Miralem Pjanic, Leonardo Bonucci. Trying to find a way through here, probing away. And the goalkeeper will get this one, no problem. Hamšík, Allen. Kulinski. Jose Callahan. Return pass. Got the opposition backpedalling a little bit. He's got his shot off now. Wojciech Szczesny with no difficulty whatsoever. Cristiano Ronaldo. Matuidi. Well, the tackle there has led to a throw. Miralem Pjanic. Very much a club with a tradition, Alan, of playing three centre defenders, Juventus. They are clever ball. And Zukic. Here's a chance to whip it in. And that's a throw for Juventus. Mandzukic. He's got support here. Matuidi. Now with Ronaldo. Intercepted the play. Saw the pass coming. Cleared it well. Miralem Pjanic. Cristiano Ronaldo. Kadira. Mandzukic. Well, there's the equaliser. And a really good start to the game. It's always thrilling when both teams show that they can score in a match. I wonder where we'll go from here. Players here who stand out a bit. These two in particular, I think, today, Alan. Well, I think both of these players should come into this match with their confidence brimming, really, because uh, they really have played well. They've uh, led from the front. Insignia. Milik. Joao Cancelo. Matuidi. Alexandro. Matuidi. Here's Alexandro, crafting the through pass. Aldo, and the aim of the cross is towards Dybala. Cleared the ball. And it is a, a header away and out of play. Sami Kadir, trying to find Cristiano Ronaldo. Well, that will mean a corner coming up now. The good thing about these pitches these days, even when we're getting rain like we're getting here, it just goes straight through. It does, and uh, it means the ball moves so fast across. Mandzukic! It's a corner again. Superb save. He shouldn't have had a chance at all with that, but... Oh, what about those reflexes? Brilliant. Corner played it. Keeper up well to punch the corner. Good defensive clearance there. Sami Kadira. Matuik. And now the shot! Allen. Kulinski. Jose Callahan. Hamshik. Allen. Well, he was in the right place at the right time to cut it out. Still such a day. Has a go here. Well, he's had a go, and what a goal! Wow, it's not often you see somebody find the back of the net from that distance. That is stunning. Well, he defied the odds by taking the shot on, let alone scoring the goal. So let's look at the goal for Juventus. Oh, left foot, right foot. Cristiano Ronaldo, what can you say? He rarely fails to miss the target. He certainly did. Great strike. To confirm, Juventus are in the lead. Jose Callahan. 
Hamshik. This is an exercise in patience as they try to get an opening. Oh, it's a corner by that deflection. Let's take another look, Alan, at Cristiano Ronaldo's goal. Well, it's unbelievable vision by the scorer to place it from that distance in the right-hand side. Played away, well away from goal. Matuidi. Trying to steer it through. Aldo. And the aim of the cross is towards Dybala. Oh, that's good defending. Matuidi. Sami Kadira. Dybala. Got the tackle in. Insignia. Milik. Hamšík. Miralem Pjanic. Matuidi. Joao Cancelo. Matuidi. Turn pass. Dybala. Now with Ronaldo. Good distance to the clearance then. Hamšík. Jelinski. He's got some room out here in the wide position. Oh, time to get the cross now. Danger was looming large. But they've got themselves back on the ball. Miralem Pjanic. Here's Cristiano Ronaldo. Well, Naples is a city of raw emotion, isn't it? And the football club really reflects that. And they love their individual talents. Of course, Maradona being one of the most famous. Good punch from the goalkeeper from the cross. Jose Callahan. Maybe took his eye off the ball. Stadium and here for you today Juventus and they play Napoli the Juventus lineup there Wojciech Chesney starts in goal Leonardo Bonucci starts with Giorgio Chiellini as the centre-backs Sami Kadira plays with Miralem Pjanic in the centre of the park Mario Mandzukic is the main striker today it's Napoli's lineup Lorenzo Insigne starts a midfielder in good form we'll see how the striking option works with just one up front Raul Albiol. Hamšík. That's very good. Badly timed tackle. He'll be booked for that. He's picked up an early yellow card here. The referee not ducking the issue. But this player's now walking a tightrope for the rest of the game. Well, he's just going to have to watch himself. And the style of footballer that he is. He doesn't normally pull out a tackle, so he's going to have to be careful. Well, he's cut that out well, well read. Juventus will get the throw. Miralem Pjanic. Now they're looking for room in a wide... A great chance to go in front! Juventus get the corner. Decided to take a short corner this time. Well, that's relieved some of the pressure as the defender clears his lines out of play. Now Tweedy. Dybala. Sami Kadira. That's good movement forward here. Nice bit of interplay between these two. And now the shot! players here who stand out a bit these two in particular I think today Alan well two excellent attacking players we are treated to seeing we're really enjoying good seasons and I'm expecting a bit more of the same today Aldo cleared away well away from goal 
Janic. Sandro. Aldo. Crushing it here. Moving from one side to the other. Dybala. How did he save that? Uh, he's one of the best in the business for those kind of situations. Absolutely brilliant. Short corner. Shots on here. Still a chance in there off the goalkeeper. And that's a throw for Juventus. Alexandro. Good screening. And he's kept the ball. Miralem Pjanic. Trying to get behind the defenders to get in a good cross. On the cross, blocked well by the defender. Excellent interception. He's got some strength, hasn't he, to shield the ball like that. Allen. Kielinski. It's a poor ball and overhit. Sammy Kadira. Matuidi. Kadira. Matuidi. Miralem Pjanic. He's got some room out here in the wide position. Now Kayahon. Maybe he'll cross it here. To take the lead. Goal! Off the post and in. 